What's going on YouTube? Chiosno right here. So in today's video I have an important update about the Rolectra or Semi Restore 11, which is a tool created by Pound to Own, which allows you to un-jailbreak or remove the Electra jailbreak in case you need to start fresh. Now if you take a look in here, I already have a tutorial on how to use it that I made a few days ago, but there are some changes that are very important and we need to discuss. So just a day ago, Pound Own posted this, quote, I'll be updating Rolectra very soon with the iOS 11.2.x support and an improved support for restoring without touching the user data. Now, for those of you who do not remember, Rolectra would remove all the data regardless of its type. So all the data related to the jailbreak and all the data related to the user, the applications you installed and everything. It would reset your phone back to stock and back to factory factory settings. So if you wanted to preserve your data, you would need to do a backup. But now there is an option for you to preserve your data, even though this option is experimental and it's in beta stages. So the Charis repo in here actually posted, quote, semi-restore 11 or Rolectra by pound to own, a full system on jailbreaker that supports all devices running 11.3 to iOS 11.4 beta 3. So it's now available on the Charis or Charis repo and pound to own also announced, quote, I think I just found the perfect way to achieve the restore from Rolectra without resetting the user data. So there are definitely more updates in store to come. So do not forget to check out the Charis repo for more updates. But let's see how you can do it, how you can update to the newest version and how you can use it. So in order to get the latest version of the Rolectra or Semi Restore 11 that can preserve your data, you have to go here in Cydia and add the repo if you don't have it, the Charis repo, which is pretty much repo.charis.io. And here you will be able to find the uh, Rolectra or Semi Restore. So if you write Semi Restore or Semi Restore 11, you're going to find the Semi Restore 11 and Rolectra one in here. You update to it or install it. And once you do that, you will be able to open it which is this one in here. And now as you can see, there is a toggle at the bottom called perform full restore. So the perform full restore one will definitely delete everything, including your data, your photos, your contacts and so on. Once you press the on jailbreak button and will pretty much revert everything back to stock. So it's just like using the erase all contents thing. But of course, you cannot use that option that is built in into the iOS if you are jailbroken because there will be a ton of leftovers so yeah that's a bad idea but if you untoggle this in here it will pretty much try to get rid only of the jailbreak but it will spare the user data however you should not be using this option in here unless it's definitely necessary because of course it's still in beta it's still experimental and there may still be some leftovers in there now don't get me wrong it's nothing major that would break your device or something but it's always better to perform a full restore and to have a backup of your data on a computer or something rather than using this method in here that would keep your data but will also keep some of the leftovers on the device. So if you want to get rid of the Electra at this point you would either choose the perform full restore or not and you would press on jailbreak and that's pretty much it the phone restarts and it will revert back to stock so why is this update important well it's important because sometimes you have to get rid of the jailbreak to start fresh you want to get rid of anything related to the electra and of course start ios 11.3.1 or ios 11.2.x and so on you know, pretty much stock. So in order to do that, you need the raw Electra. But sometimes you don't want to lose your data. And although I do not recommend this method, you know, this toggle in here, it does work. However, with or without this toggle, I definitely recommend you to perform a backup to your computer first, just in case, you know, if you have important data that you cannot stand losing. You know, it's always a good idea to have a backup of something that is very valuable to you. So anyways, this is pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow and until the next time, peace out.